today is a, is a great day. It's always good when we have the opportunity to collaborate and to leverage our collective impact, working together uh, for the betterment of our students. It is wonderful to see everyone coming together to help Jackson Public School students realize their dreams. All of us in the room understand how important it is that today's high school students earn a credential of value beyond a high school diploma. With it, they will have greater earning power, greater job stability, and a stronger financial foundation on which to provide for their families. The education level of our citizens plays a critical role in attracting and keeping business and industry in our state. Economic growth and development depend on education. Having more college graduates begins with helping more students enroll in and understand how to pay for college. That is what College Countdown Mississippi is all about. Many students dream of going to college, but many of them just don't know where to begin. Completing the FAFSA is a daunting task for any parent. College Countdown Mississippi will help answer those questions and will help students and parents navigate the process. College Countdown Mississippi is a collaborative effort bringing together all levels of education, community partners, and nonprofit organizations to help students. It's important to understand that people first have to have the access to education. Access comes in many forms, and one of those is financial. The process of navigating through these hoops <clears throat> served as a potential barrier because we know that guidelines change, we know that processes change, so it's important for parents and students to have the opportunity necessary to gain information they need to be able to navigate these hoops. So this endeavor is going to be very important to Jackson and I hope at some point to see this endeavor expand to the state of Mississippi. On behalf of Dr. Carrie Wright, State Superintendent of Education and the State Board of Education, we are pleased to support the launch of Jackson Public Schools American College Application Campaign. Speaking on behalf of the Mississippi Department of Education, we applaud the action taken by Dr. Gray and his team at the Jackson Public School District office to launch the American College application campaign for the students in your district and for creating a college-going mindset and culture. Education Services Foundation was established in 1995 and its purpose was to achieve a better life, help Mississippians achieve a better life through education. In uh, 1998, we established a program called Get to College, which is really that hoop navigator organization in Mississippi to help young people really realize how they can access college. We do programs that are free of charge, such as ACT preparation. We help young people develop uh, resumes. We help young people do personality and career assessment opportunities. We help them with their interview skills. And we help them put together the path on how best to go to college. And we know that before a young person should apply or can apply to college, first you have to FAFSA. Well, I'm delighted to share with you today that the Education Services Foundation is a recent recipient of a $55,000 grant to help more Jackson Public School students fill out their FAFSA forms. Through a very competitive process, we were selected as one of only 22 cities in the country to receive this type of support. So I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the National College Access Network who um, identified Get to College and the Education Services Foundation and ultimately Jackson, Mississippi is a recipient of one of those grants. And I also want to thank the Kresge Foundation out of Detroit, Michigan who funded this effort in their efforts to try to get more low-income students into college. Last year, three billion with a B, three billion dollars was unclaimed in federal aid that was left on the table because students just didn't apply. While working closely with the Jackson Public Schools, we want to look at how we can increase the FAFSA participation and completion rate within the students of the Jackson Public Schools and really look at how we can create a college-going culture in Jackson. We know that a college degree is one of the best gateways of building a larger middle class. And Mary Yarber, you and I know that a larger middle class will benefit Jackson, it'll benefit Mississippi, and it'll benefit our nation.
We're talking about an instant, immediate hit to the city's median household income simply by graduating uh, a group of young people out of this system who go on to college in four years, receive a, a college degree, and then receive uh, a job that enables them to be a part of the solution and not the problem. So I want you to go and spread the good news, talk about uh, this program and its impacts because that FAFSA and that, that funding will come to your school because it will follow that student. Uh, thank you, and we appreciate your commitment to the city of Jackson. In JPS, of course, our goal is to increase the number of students that are graduating, uh, reduce the number of students that are dropping out, and ultimately uh, increase the number of students that are exposed to college uh, and careers. And so the way we, we've started to do that, we're already, uh, we have dual credit, dual enrollment. We have an MOU in place with Hines Community College. Uh, we just recently uh, entered into a partnership. Jackson State wrote a grant for dual enrollment in which we will start next year uh, having uh, college courses taught on our campuses. So we're moving forward. You all are aware of the Academies of Jackson, something that we've been doing. We're in year to moving into year three, where we're increasing uh, opportunities for students through college and career readiness with hopes that they will move on uh, to higher ed. Access is an issue, especially with students of color. American uh, College Application Grant uh, will further uh, that opportunity for our students. We look forward to this partnership and we know that our students and our community uh, will be better for it.